Hi folks, Rudy at Claude and Painting Studio here today. Um, today's video has been um, requested um, by some viewers. Um, it's really to sort of make a, a series on the ins and outs of actually opening a box of models and taking them from um, the sprues to um, on the tabletop. So um, today we're going to look at um, pre preparation of models, uh, what tools you might want to use. And I've chosen a box of uh, Perry French Napoleonic Line Infantry um, from 1812 to 1815. Um, so you could use these to fight in the, the later Peninsular um, War, um, also battles um, such as Leipzig or um, Waterloo at the end of the Napoleonic period. <clears throat> um, Perry sets are usually a good one to go for if you are um, new to historical wargaming or even if you're just trying a new period. Um, not only have they got um, excellent figures at very good value, um, £20 for 42 figures, um, each box has um, really useful information on um, colours, uh, examples of how to paint, um, and within the box um, there's another guide um, with a couple of um, standards there. and. You could even uh, paint them as uh, Swiss um, or light infantry. So a really useful um, set. And whether you're interested in Napoleonic's um, American uh, War of Independence, Hundred Years War, World War II, um, Perry plastic box sets are a great place to start. So inside this box, um, we've got four sprues and we have some bases. And then um, two infantry sprues, which are the same, which have our fusiliers, um, faltiers, grenadiers, um, and a uh, command sprue as well. Slightly different. Um, this one has um, an officer, drummer, and uh, eagle bearer, or standard bearer on it as well. Um, so it's enough to build a, a 36-man battalion um, with six um, skirmishing uh, voltageurs. And there's options for changing um, heads, which we may um, look at later on. But in um, today's video, we're just going to look at how to take a, a model off the sprue, um, clean it up, and get it ready for um, painting. So first tool um, I've got is my trusty old pair of um, snippers. Uh, these clippers um, I think I got from um, Warlord Games and they have an angled head on them um, which makes them um, pretty good for getting models off the sprue. These have seen better days. Um, the beaks are a bit gnarled. Should replace them at some point. So we'll take one of the models and perhaps go for this fusilier here. And we'll see about getting him off the, the sprue. Um, you want the, the flat side um, of the clippers to go against the part you're cutting. And it should drop off. Now the Perry models are very easy to put together. Um, we only have one other component which is um, a pack. <clears throat> And for the most part, um, our packs are um, alongside the model on the sprue. So again, um, flat beak, flat of the beak against the, the pack. There we go. So we have our two components. How are we going to um, tidy these up? Um, I've got an army painter. Um, craft knife which is really just a, a size 11 blade scalpel um, in there and we can use this to trim off the areas where we've had attachments to the sprue um, and also if we look closely um, on the model from above um, there will be a mold line which basically runs um, in a halo across the top of the model and if we leave that there when we come to paint it it will look a, um, a bit messy um, so I'll just slide our blade away from us, take that bit off the arm, um, with mold lines you can um, actually get rid of the worst of them with the, the back edge of your, your scalpel blade if you're a bit worried about digging in. So 
So how do we join our two components together? Um, you could use um, super glue. Um, you could use um, plastic glue. Um, I'm going to use plastic glue. Um, what it does is it actually um, dissolves a, a bit of the, the plastic and then as it's, uh, it sets, these two pieces will fuse together and that'll be a really strong bond. Um, super glue um, will work. Um, it's a bit more brittle. Um, and pieces um, can snap off. Um, that's sometimes um, a useful thing um, with plastics. Um, if you want to have more of a chance of, of swapping a component in the future, then super glue might be the way to go. But um, generally speaking, plastic glue um, is the stuff to use. I quite like the Revel stuff because it comes with this uh, nice applicator um, which can get clogged. A little bit of um, heat will undo that. And we're just going to leave this on there to set. Uh, worth noting the pack choice for um, this fusilier. Um, there is no sword. The swords go on your grenadiers and voltagers. And because he is wearing a great coat, um, there is no rolled great coat along the, the top. Um, for the most part, with this set, the, the matching pack is beside the model it's supposed to go on. But just in case, those are um, the design changes to look out for when selecting the correct pack. So, this model will be joined by all his um, friends and I'll be in a position to uh, move on to um, the painting process in the next video. Hopefully that's been some use. Any comments please leave them below. Bye for now.